everyone, welcome back for another YouTube video. In this video, I am road tripping it from Ohio to Kensett, Iowa to DNO Equipment to pick up my new zero turn mower. Now you may be wondering, why am I going all the way from Ohio to Iowa to buy a zero turn mower? Well, there's a lot of reasons, and one of the big reasons is I've known these guys for a long time. DNL Equipment is a nice family farm equipment dealership up in Kensett, Iowa, so basically north central Iowa. And they've always treated me good when I called on these guys as a service rep with Versatile. They've recently taken on Deutz Far tractors, and I just remember when they got this uh, zero turn mower in years ago on tracks, probably going back, I don't know how many years they've been selling them, but a long time. I was here and I was checking it out in their shop. I really liked it. At that time, I did not have a lot of yard to mow, so I didn't really need a zero turn mower, but now I'm mowing about four and a half acres and I need to speed up my mowing time. So we've been talking here and last fall when they was putting in their order for the 2024 season, they asked me if I was still interested in one. I said yes. They shot me a price. I thought the price was pretty fair so here i am going to get it ken's at iowa where the sun is always shining and here we are pulling in the dnl equipment man they got a row of tractors here check that out pretty nice 1066 international All right, here she is, the old TRX 766i. They showed me all about it. I'm going to take it out, drive it around the dealer's lot, load it on the trailer, and head for Ohio. We had a fairly mild March and a lot of stuff started to green up. Several people in the area have mowed their yard up to two or three times already. I haven't mowed yet, but today is April 7th, so I think today I'm going to mow. I just put urea on my yard about 10 days ago, so things are greening up real nicely here. We're supposed to hit 70 degrees the next couple days, so I'm going to go out and give her a try today, so come along. Well, here it is. So this is the Altaz TRX 766 series. As far as I know, this is the biggest model they make. Now these are built out of Greenbush, Minnesota, and you can get these with either tires or tracks. I wanted tracks just for something different. The tracks are supposed to be better on slopes and whatnot. So just starting in the front here, this has the 66 inch deck on it. So they have two different decks. The lawn deck that I have here, or for a finish, a turf finish, or you can get a heavy duty one for taking down brush, small trees, stuff like that. Here's a look at one with the heavy duty deck on it. So you can see the chains up front there. It has breakaway blades made for mowing heavier stuff, even some small trees. And then also notice the tracks on this one. It's a more aggressive track than mine. So I have the turf track. This is the more aggressive one. Up in the front here, as far as I know, these are solid tires. You cannot put air in them. And there's a little bit of suspension or cushion built in here in the front. Smooth out your ride. And then we got the track system right here. So let's just go ahead and see how wide these tracks are. So it looks like these tracks are about 11 inches wide and 
somewhere I'd say over a two foot uh, footprint on the ground. There is some suspension built in back here on the tracks as well. So this thing should ride really smooth. For the power plant back here, it has a Kawasaki FX1000V motor. I think this thing is rated at like 38 or 39 horsepower. The only option I got on this, as far as I know, is the rear hitch here. A uh, dealer put that receiver on. They said they sell a lot of those. I guess if I ever did get this stuck or wanted to pull my yard roller around, whatever, I can put the receiver hitch in there and go for it. Of course, it's got the ROPS that you can fold down if you need to. Two fuel tanks on this thing, one on each side. And it looks like this mower weighs around 1,600 pounds. So it's a pretty good sized machine. I really like the looks of it. That can flip up out of the way if need be. It's got a nice seat here that you can adjust the weight, slide the seat back and forth, has an armrest on each side. And just setting on the machine here, we'll take a look. So to let the mower deck down, push on there, unlock it, and let the deck down. To raise the deck, you simply push forward, and it'll lock into place. Now, I guess they do make a electric lift for it. I didn't think I needed that. Over on this side, we got a cup holder, storage compartment. We can adjust our deck height right here. I'm probably gonna start out mowing somewhere around three and a half inches. Fuel gauge on this side and a charging port. This has a two-speed hydro in it, so this has a low and a high. I think low goes up to about eight mile an hour. That's probably where I'll mow, but this does go as fast and high as 11 mile an hour. Have a park brake located right here. Another fuel gauge, since we got a tank on each side. Hand throttle, and then we program in a code here, and then we can start this up. Got a couple warnings, got a digital readout here, and then of course to engage our mower deck, we got this switch located right here. And we can just pull the levers in. And of course forward and backward and turn. So a lot like driving a skid loader. The seat does flip up out of the way. So we have our battery located right here. Oil reservoir for each hydrostat. Looks like a fuel filter over there. Got some cooling fans down there for the hydro and so forth. And then the seat latches right there. So when I lifted the seat up, I just had to unlatch that and lift the seat. We'll now fold her back, latches into place. So since this has two fuel tanks, it has a valve located right here. So we can either turn this off or draw from the left or the right fuel tank. When I picked this up at DNL Equipment, they gave me an accessory catalog for this. So a couple things that I ordered and I have, I have to install them yet, is since this is on tracks, it says it can mow a 25 degree slope with ease. You're not supposed to go over that, but they actually have a slope meter that bolts on here. So I did order one of those. And then I also ordered a light kit. And it looks to me like the lights mount on each side. Sometimes I do have to mow in the dark. As I said earlier, I've never had a zero turn mower before. This is a first for me, but really looking forward to it. And I have a little over four acres of grass to mow here. And I wanted to speed up my mowing time. With the Massey, I enjoy mowing with it. It just takes about four hours. And sometimes I don't have four hours to mow the yard. So I'm hoping this is gonna cut my mowing time in half, maybe more. We'll find out. And the gas caps have a tether on them, so you should not lose one. I got the slope meter opened up here, so it looks like I need to install this bracket in the slope meter. Got a few bolts here, might have to drill some holes and some instructions. I just got the slope meter installed here, so four bolts, had to drill four holes, and ready to go.
have this drainage that runs through my yard and in the spring it's pretty wet here now normally i would not be able to mow this with my tractor but i'm going to give it a try and i'm going through it just fine And I am all done mowing. It definitely cut my mowing time down more than half. I think I did this in just under two hours, and that was playing around a little bit, learning the machine. I'm just going to blow it off here and put it away. I know there were some comments when I posted a picture of this about the tracks tearing stuff up. I just thought I'd make a turn in the garden here and show you what it did. Here's a look at my yard after I finish mowing it. It looks pretty good, and I'm just going to show you where I turned on the end here because I know there was people making comments that this was going to rut up my yard, tear my grass up and stuff. Now, I was kind of doing a three-point turn, but overall, I don't think it tore the grass up any worse than anything else. We'll just walk through the drainage here, and I'll show you the job it did. Now, I could only mow part of this with my Massey tractor last year when it was real wet in the early spring, and I had to come in and finish it off with a string trimmer. But ideally, you probably don't want to run your mower in these conditions, but it did go through it and mowed it up. Now, it did take a little power when I went through these waterlogged spots, just that water coming up under the deck and so forth, but it didn't track nothing up, and I was able to keep on mowing. All right, I got done mowing with it, and overall, I really like it. If I had one complaint on the whole thing, my only complaint is I got done mowing way too quick. I still want to keep driving it. So if a neighbor or something come over and said, hey, can you mow my yard? I'd probably do it because I didn't get my fill yet. But I'm sure by the end of summer I will. But overall, great machine. I'll be doing more videos of it as I put more hours on it through the season and whatnot. But did everything I wanted to do, and it did it pretty fast. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to go down there, hit that like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.